I've been a fan, low-key, because I have not seen a fraction of what this man has done. I've been a fan of Indian superstar Rajinikanth for a long, long time. Ever since a friend of mine went to Japan to teach English for a couple of years and he recorded this crazy action, Indian action comedy musical, which we'd never really seen Indian films before, so we really didn't know the variety of what you would get out of an Indian film. He recorded this film from TV in Japan, and he brought it back and showed it. He's like, this is amazing. This guy is, is just so entertaining, and we loved it. So now every time I see him in something, I'm just, I just rock it, right, to try to, to watch that. And I had seen him in, in Theron, or was known as Robot here, as, uh, as this amazing, just wild sci-fi action comedy with uh, Stan Winston doing the special effects. And I saw this film Jailer about a year or so ago that I just loved. So when I saw that he was in this new film called Vetayan, I was very excited to go see that. Anytime, again, I see that he's in something, I see his face on the poster, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna go see it. So he, this is directed by TJ Gananavel with, uh, as I said, as he is billed, I read at the beginning, he's, he has his own logo at the beginning of the film, I love it. Superstar Rajinikanth, Amit ba Bakchan and Rana Dagabute, but it's uh, Leica Productions. And it says right up front, streaming partner, Amazon Prime. So by the time you see this, it may well be on Amazon Prime. So Ranjikanth, uh, Rajinikanth, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll mispronounce every name and I'm, I'm trying. I want, I want to respect these people because I love what they do. He is a, a badass cop that goes on the hunt for the rapist murderer of a school teacher who he knew. And ultimately, I'm not gonna tell you the whole story, but this, there's a lot of plot after this. He goes on the hunt for the bad guy who raped and killed this wonderful young school teacher in a rural area, and he ultimately winds up killing the suspect, and then not long after, information is presented that maybe that suspect wasn't the person who did it. So the film becomes this journey for him and the police and the courts to try to find who is the person responsible for this before you know he and his whole team basically get taken down for for killing a suspect and the parents of this suspect are just mortified that a he's not alive anymore but also that his reputation has been sullied by as being you know the person who did it when they believe he didn't so um the, the movie it's very interesting it opens with uh Regine Kent taking out this gang of baddies in this slow-mo badass style and uh really well choreographed and it's got a couple fights in the film that are very well choreographed a lot of them look like they're shot to minimize what he has to do physically. It seems like more modern day Jackie Chan where he can't do the crazy stuff he used to do as a youth. So it's a lot more upper body. It's a lot more hand to hand. It's a lot more shots framed sort of like this and a lot of cutting around things like that. And that's fine because he's still wonderful and badass. But it's just something I did. I took note of while I watched it. It's just like, oh, they're doing he's, he's being held in tight shots for a lot of this. I'm guessing that he, a man of his age probably can't be jumping dirt bikes onto moving trains and things like that. So really the film, for the most part, is not an action film. The action is there, but it's more of a police procedural and uh, occasional, it's occasionally it's thriller, but it's mostly a police procedural. It examines police shootings and humane policing, that's a big thing, and equity and education and justice in India. You know, one of the other main characters, you have these two two old men characters, and, and one is the police officer who's the man of action, and the other is a legal scholar and judge who's trying to say, we, we can't just be shooting suspects. We need to give everybody a fair shot in this country to, to get where they want to go and not have it just be the wealthy or the people of a certain case who are able to do this so or cast. Um, it was very interesting, very thoughtful, more thoughtful than I expected. I did feel like it dragged at times and maybe it tried to pack too much into its runtime. Usually what I find with Indian films is for a Western audience, they're just, they seem incredibly long. But for me, it's like I've seen maybe one or two in the number that I've seen that I didn't feel like use their running time very efficiently. Like to me, they're never boring. They're always interesting. And this was one where I felt like this, this is kind of a lot of talk. Not that it's not an important subject. It's just that I think for me, after seeing Jailer and how badass that was, I kind of wanted more of that. And not every actor does the same. Well, some actors do, but not every actor does the same thing over and over again. And you got to respect that. So um, it's always nice to see uh, uh, Regina Kent in a film being suave and, suave and badass. In this movie, he does this thing where 
um, he has the, the little like magnetic clip on shades for your glasses that are just like like a cutout of sunglasses basically. And he keeps he does this thing where he does this from you know his hands down at his waist and he flips them up and they go into position, which is really cool. Reminded me of this thing Jackie Chan does throughout uh, the first Armor of God film where he has a little thing of Tic Tacs and he's always doing this thing and popping them in his mouth from a distance. So anyway, your mileage may vary. I thought it was a little slow and not the action movie that I wanted it to be, but it, uh, it is a thoughtful film and it's always great to see the man who I just call Superstar uh, out, of, out, of, out of love and appreciation on the big screen. This is Vetian. <laughs> 